Cancer, welcome back to Shea C. Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to pull the Tarot dice first. This reading is for anybody with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. There is the tropical chart and the Vedic astrology chart, um, sidereal chart. Uh, so you can check on the community page, scroll down a little ways. And if you're not sure uh, what your placement is there, go check it out. Okay. Some people feel that's even more accurate than the tropical chart that we're all accustomed and used to. So just check it out. Uh, let's see what's going on. We're going to pull the tarot dice here. I will try to hold them up for you, but as always, they are not easy to see. But somebody definitely is waiting to kind of uh, make a balanced decision here. Ooh, very conflicted though. Uh, this could be you, could be somebody you're dealing with. So remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your energy I'm picking up, it definitely can be vice versa. I quite often pick up the other person's energy on your mind, Cancer. So again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Some things may resonate now. And some things can definitely resonate in the future. I've had many repeat clients tell me some things kind of resonate now and then some things resonate in the future. So and then others it, like everything resonates right now or it confirms what they were thinking. So go check out Shacy.com for those of you that want personal readings. They are open. Of course, that's always more geared towards your energy. Let's get into it. Go check out the reviews there. I, I'm, I'm absolutely um I'm so amazed by my repeat clients. You know, I just, I think you're all amazing. So thanks to all of you uh, who are my repeat clients. And for those of you brand new, um, I hope you continue to watch the channel and it helps you to grow and helps you to see sometimes things outside of the box. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we're all very highly intuitive and we have a lot to offer the world with opening the doorway for them, for others to see the light, okay? All right, anyways, let's get into it. Cancer, you're in your own reading. We've got the chariot here. Look, check that out. Okay, so somebody's really thinking and contemplating the future, wondering like, you know, should I re relocate? Maybe. Some of you may be contemplating moving, um, or this person is, again, feel free to always flip the energies. This is a decision that's weighing somebody down immensely, okay? I'm also going to use a vintage deck. I'm also going to check out new love as well. For those of you looking for new love, um, we're just going to, kind of dig okay so don't go anywhere i'm gonna get love messages from the person you're all you know the person who's already on your mind or somebody coming towards you in the future uh for some of you you have a, a definite choice to make between two different directions or two different people for some of you it's going to be where do i relocate to where do i move to where do i travel to like there's a lot of contemplation here about the future some of you may be buying a new car, a new vehicle, maybe even a recreational vehicle. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. Uh, something or someone is just like wishing and thinking, but also very conflicted, okay? It's like Spirit is saying, like, we've got the Ace of Wands here. And that's a beautiful thing because this means that I really want to go towards something or someone new. But it's going to require I leave the past behind. And it is my wish, but I'm also guarding and protecting that wish because it, it's something that is on somebody's conscience. It's weighing them down a great deal. And this is somebody who can be a Gemini. There's strong Gemini here. Cancer, your energy, of course. Scorpio is represented strongly here. Um, not surprising, it is your reading. But I also have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, uh, Cancer again, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So this decision, this choice to move forward, to relocate may cause a lot of uh, challenges, not just... financially I'm getting here but emotionally okay it, it could mm, it that's why this decision's weighing somebody down whatever decision they make or you make it's kind of like a domino effect it's going to affect other people creating or bringing in a lot of unnecessary conflict uh, but what I'm also getting though is it will allow someone to go towards what they feel is right for them because a chariot is also about going towards your rightful path okay this decision is definitely like somebody's keeping it under wraps or keeping it to themselves they're trying to think logically about it you know i'm trying to make logical balanced decisions here um 
but it's kind of like I can't really avoid this conflict no matter which way I slice it. This is somebody that's kind of waiting uh, to kind of just see what happens. And so it's, it's like I'm not really making a move. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about the future. I'm imagining it. Then we have the Four of Cups. This is a vintage Zolar deck, by the way, the 1960s and the 1970s, for those of you that are brand new. Okay, Four of Wands. So this is somebody kind of maybe rejecting coming back together, a reunion for some of you here. For others of you, this is, I'm not able to accept this offer right now because I'm already in an existing marriage or commitment and I have a choice between uh, two different directions or two different people. I'm definitely getting that travel is indicated here. Relocation again for some of you here. Somebody's definitely in this self-protect mode of protecting what their wish is. Also a level of mistrust. I'm seeing that somebody doesn't trust somebody. They feel like there's competition. So somebody here feels like there's somebody else in the picture. But it can simply be that somebody wants to move. But let's let's keep going because I, I've got two kings here. I've got the king of cups and the king of swords. So this is somebody that has a lot of love to give. They're very balanced between their head and their heart. But they're also very, very quiet. They don't like to, you know, show their emotions. We've got the king of swords. So definitely not showing our emotions right now. So somebody very much waiting, waiting and conflicted here. Should I put any more effort in? So somebody could, you could be wondering whether or not to put any more, you know, effort into this connection. Yeah, we've got seven of pentacles twice. Once in the tarot dice and once in the 1960s deck here. Should I continue to wait? So somebody feels like, you know, I put a lot of effort into this. Should I continue to do so? Or am I being like rejected? Okay, so for some of you, you feel like this person you're dealing with is too focused on the past. And has too much conflict in their life. This is somebody that is, you know, very quietly contemplating their future and they're not saying anything about it to you or vice versa. What are they waiting for? What is this person waiting for? What does Cancer need to know? Remember, I'm going to look for new love on the new deck. OMG, are you kidding? So that's seven of pentacles three times, once on the tarot dice, once in the 1960s and once in the 1970s deck. What are they waiting for? They're waiting to move forward. There's double clarification of the, chari uh, the chariot, triple confirmation of the seven of pentacles. So I'm waiting to move forward, maybe waiting, saving money for a new vehicle, recreational vehicle. Wow, four of wands again, 1960s, 1970s. The amount of duplicates now and the, the one triplet of the seven of pentacles is blowing my mind. Okay, so is this moving forward towards like marriage or commitment or not? I'm waiting. I'm waiting to get in my car. This is my wish, but maybe this person feels like you're guarded. You don't trust them. Maybe they rejected you in the past or they weren't seeing your offer. Or maybe you've been waiting for them to see it. Why is the Four of Cups here? We clarify the Four of Cups. So this is somebody in a very much a lack mindset with the Four of Cups and the Four of Wands. It's, it's like somebody like, I have to wait to move forward. I'm either already in a commitment to a marriage or, let's see. Oh, okay. Well, the Eight of Wands. So this person may travel to you. With the chariot and the eight of wands here and the six of swords. They may travel to you and say, I had to wait because there were some things in, you know, in my past that I had to deal with first, Cancer. And you may have feel, felt like they weren't interested in you. But in actual fact, they felt like they had to wait and sort things out monetary wise. And in making a decision because it wasn't just affecting you and them, it was affecting everybody. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be somebody else in their life that is jealous of you and, and their connection. 
Um, it could be anybody. It could be a child, a father, a mother, a sister, a, another woman, another man. Um, this is somebody that with the six of pentacles and the five of wands, they have a lot of people around them. And it can be because your person maybe gives freely of their time and energy. Because this is somebody that like builds and makes things happen here, but they, they think about things for a while first. Oh, I'm getting that. Clarify the Eight of Wands. My goodness. Wow. King of Cups again. So the 1960s and the Tarot Dice. I mean, seriously, the amount of duplicates already. Okay. So this is somebody who has been kind of indecisive. Okay, so they feel like they don't have all the answers yet. I'm getting they don't feel like they have all the answers yet. So they have to wait to see how things turn out. They could be building a business. They could be waiting for things to balance out overall financially here in their life. Okay, I can't, I don't have relocation money or I don't have the money to move forward with you yet or bring this relationship to the next level or buy that new car or buy a home. So I'm contemplating how can I move forward and overcome these challenges. They're doing a lot of thinking. Clarify the two of swords, please, for cancer. Let me know how this resonates. And please don't forget to hit the like button. It's a fantastic and free way to support these free readings. I really appreciate it. Let's see what's happening. And the notification bell. If you don't hit the notification bell quite often, like, well... If, you, if it's not hit, you won't be notified of future readings, okay? We've got the Three of Cups. So that can be about celebration, reconciliation, Four of Wands, coming together, celebration. I'm not sure if this is happening. So that's either you or they or both of you. We're not really sure what's happening here. Like, I, I don't know which direction this is going to go. I have to kind of, I feel like I've put effort in and I'm kind of wondering whether to keep putting the effort in, waiting to see what's happening because right now I feel rejected. That's either you or them. But the chariot and the eight of wands, it's, it's like moving forward. So maybe you have no idea cancer that there is this king of cups, somebody that has love for you. That's been doing a lot of thinking, but on the quiet, on the download, like not saying anything, wanting to come towards you here. I still don't understand what they're exactly waiting. They're waiting for clarification is kind of what I'm getting, or you are. So you may have blocked them out, nine of wands, two of swords, and this is really weighing them down because there's no communication between the two of you. But maybe you felt like there was a decision and a choice they had to make, and, and you just felt like they were giving to everybody else but you with the six of pentacles. Let's see, three of cups. Clarify the three of cups for cancer. We're going to get your person's energy on the other deck. Oh, okay, see, so you feel that they're, that they're not being honest with you. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? What is going on this person's energy? The Cancer needs to be made aware of with the Seven of Swords. I feel like that's that that's their energy. It's a very masculine energy. Somebody um, using intellect here and staying silent and really like excited about this this new beginning. But there's some kind of conflict. I'm just not sure if if it's them that self conflicted or if there are arguments or disagreements in their energy dealing with other people. That part's not clear. Mm, okay, Queen of Pentacles, I spoke too soon. So for some of you, if this person's already in a marriage or commitment, they're trying to get away from that marriage or commitment, trying to figure a way out, making a decision so that they can communicate with you to find out maybe if you're still interested because you may have like kind of cut them off or not been talking to them. But for others of you, this is somebody that, you know, comes in and, and takes advantage of you emotionally you're very supportive. You're very loving. Maybe you had a good time with them. 
you know, they seemed very loving, but then they put their sword up at the King of Swords here, and now they're kind of not saying anything um, because maybe they know you want commitment here. You're, that's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for some kind of clarity on commitment here because they've been indecisive, and that's what they know you're wanting. You're wanting to move forward towards marriage and commitment with the chariot right next to the Four of Wands here. So it's like, what should I do? So it's almost like it's at a standoff is kind of what I'm getting. Let's get their energy on the other deck. Let's see what's going on. What is going on in Cancer's person of interest energy? I will clarify the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles in part two. I forgot to mention that, by the way. There will be a part two for those of you that are brand new. Upper right-hand corner near the end of this reading, it'll say part two. Watch now. That's individual purchase. I'm going to dig deeper into the next six months from April to September. And we're going to get a, try to see what the outcome is for the next six months. All right. And then we're also going to pull the fun to row of SEX because I can't pull them here. We're going to get the fun, intimate messages from your person, how they're thinking about you intimately, what's on their mind. Um, we're just going to dig. And again, I'll clarify the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords here. What's going on with Cancer's person of interest? What do they need to know? This is a 1970s Greer um, deck, Morgan Greer deck. So um, also very old. Okay. So we've got the star. Oh, wishes, hopes, dreams going towards our destiny here. Uh, interesting. This person is guarding their wish. They feel like you are their destiny. So they're guarding it. So that's why they're silent. So I feel cancer for many of you. This person feels like they don't know everything. They don't have the answers to everything. So they don't feel like they can really make that decision. So I feel what they're trying to do is come into you, get away from their current situation in order to kind of set the record straight. This person wants to be real with you. I feel like they want to come towards you because they feel like you are their destiny and they see you as very authentic. They see you as a star seed as well and they feel like you are their wish. Okay. And they want to guard and protect this wish. You is what I'm seeing. I feel like they're trying to get away from their current situation, but they're feeling like they don't maybe have enough money financi like financially able to relocate. Because what I'm seeing is many of you are at a physical distance. And it's like they're excited about this, this new beginning, wanting to create something with you for the future. But they feel like they can't because either you're kind of, you know, guarding yourself because you don't trust them because you feel like they're trying to get away with something because they have been silent. But what I'm seeing here is that, yeah, it, they do come off as sneaky, but it's not you. It's the person or the marriage or the committed person they're trying to get away from. Now, they may feel like the person they're currently with, if they're in a marriage, is very negative and refusing to move on. With the King of Swords here and the Five of Wands, they may have told this person that they're with, you know, bl quite bluntly with the King of Swords, because the King of Swords is blunt. They're honest. They're direct. Okay? They may have told this person, you know, I want a new beginning. I want to relocate. I want to make new plans for my future and move forward. And the five of wands is here to say, well, now, now we're arguing, we're disagreeing, but it's not just one person here. So that's why I'm saying it's not necessarily a marriage. There could be several people here. And with the queen of pentacles, it could be about the dinero, the money we're arguing over the money, the finances, you know, I, I that's kind of what I'm seeing here because we've got six of pentacles, seven of pentacles here. So I'm waiting, waiting for a payout or waiting for things to be fair financially before I can relocate. That part is not clear. Um, but let's go ahead and see what's going on with the Nine of Cups, please. Oh my goodness, that was fast. Wow, Nine of Pentacles. My wish is to be single and financially stable. Um, or they're looking at you as like, you're the star seed, you're authentic, you're doing awesome. 
you know, your, your, your cups are full, you're happy, you're doing well, um, you're protecting what you have, you're protecting yourself, you're being very careful, um, but you're also being very authentic and very real. You're going towards your destiny, your happiness here. They may fear that you're getting away from them, Cancer. Let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles, please. Wow, just as I said that, the Six of Swords moving on. So some of you have decided to move on and focus on your stability, your happiness here and your star seed. You're guiding others and you're, you know, you're, you're guarding, protecting yourself from this person. For others of you, they want to be single, financially stable. Six, Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, they're working towards that. Um, their family or whoever is in their energy is not understanding that they want to create a new beginning and move, relocate to you. Could be their own family, um, like I said. And they're wanting to relocate towards you and nobody is understanding in their energy here that they, they want to be with you. And in order to do that, they feel like, yes, they have to relocate because you're at a distance. And they feel, may feel the need to kind of plan right now on the download and kind of like protect everything and guard everything and not say anything because they're trying to figure out the best way to balance, keep everything balanced. Yeah, just as I said that, see there's conflict. Look at that, the Six of Swords and the Five of Wands. Again, we've got the Six of Swords and the Five of Wands and the Tarot Dice. So this is like there's conflict over moving on. Relocation here. So it's going to create some drama or in, and I feel like it's in their side, their energy could be family, could be friends, could be a love interest, could be a marriage. But like I said, there's more than one person here. So your person has been very slow, very quiet planning. Yeah, they're quietly planning. And I feel like they don't know if you want this anymore. Because maybe they have been so slow, so indecisive because of these other energies affecting this connection. What's this Knight of Pentacles plans with Cancer? Teamwork, collaboration, getting on the same page. So they want to come towards you slowly here and work things out here and try to get on the same page. Now this could be somebody you work with. It could be um, for some of you. But for most of you, I'm getting just generally speaking, they want to put in the effort into your connection. They want to work together on this. That is their wish. They feel like you're destined to be together with the star energy here. That's destiny to be with a soulmate. That's going towards your wishes, your hopes, and your dreams. And remaining optimistic that you can overcome these challenges. Let's see the three pentacles, please, for Cancer's person of interest. Oh, <laughs> Wow, see, Six of Pentacles. They want to balance things out. They want to work together on this connection, but they want to go slowly because, again, if they relocate to you or move or just, you know, I, I want to make peace with you because, you know, things have been rough between us. There's been conflict between us. I want to work things out. Their wish is to work things out with you and get on the same page slowly and carefully. Uh, if there was any jealousy, either on their part or your part or both parts, you know, we didn't know what was going on. They want to, they want to work that out. Clarify the Six of Pentacles, please. OMG. Ace of Cups. So this is definitely new love, a new blessing coming in very slowly. You know, for some of you, this could be brand new love. You don't know this person. Maybe this person you find out has been through all this, relocated or gone through some kind of conflict in their life and you meet them at a celebration with the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups. And the Two of Swords is here to say, you have no idea you're going to meet this person. Could be while traveling. Cancer, some of you could be traveling and you meet this person. Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups shows me there's a new exciting beginning coming in for you. Eight of Wands. So it could be on your travels. So if you're going traveling, woo, do tell. Let me know if that happens for you. Oh, wow. The plot thickens. Two of Cups. This is a spiritual connection. You definitely have a very deep soul-to-soul -soul contract bond coming in slowly. If you get a chance to travel, do it. Just saying, you might meet this person if you haven't already. That's what I'm getting. 
Others, if you, if you already know this person, they're coming in, they want to talk to you, three of cups, three of pentacles. They want to work together with you on this connection. There may have been conflict between the two of you and they're, they're, they're kind of trying to come back into your life here and, and they want to move things forward. But they have to wait for finances to improve. They're waiting for something. Okay, bottom of the deck, let's see. Wow, justice. Look at that. So this is about balancing. This is about making things right. Let's get the mutual energies. What are the mutual energies, please, between cancer and the person of interest? Okay, leaving an unhappy situation. So maybe one or both of you had to leave another situation behind. Okay, and again, it's going to create conflict. We're making final decisions. This could be about second chances for you and this person. But this is also reconciliation with someone from the past, a past soul to soul connection coming into play. Um, and in order to embrace this beautiful two of cups, ace of cups, we need to leave whatever in the past that was making us negative Nancy or negative Andrew there behind Six of swords, six of swords. We're going to leave that over here. It's not working. We're going to start moving over here where we know that things are going to be more balanced, more fair. And we're going to go slowly and we're going to be like, you know, we're going to like do this. OMG, soulmate. There you go. Some of you are definitely coming. Some of you are coming into contact with your twin flame. We only have one twin flame. Some of you are coming together with your soulmate. It doesn't matter how you slice it. It's a deep soul to soul connection. It's a connection that's meant to happen. Okay. You've got the star energy here, the ace of cups, the two of cups, justice. This will be a fair and balanced connection. This will be somebody that you can work together with and um, come into union and, and have that balance and that overflowing love between you. Wow. Very nice. Okay. Let's get your love messages here. For cancer so we're going to do pick a card cancer we'll do this in part two as well i'll get the messages for april in part two as well as again the next six months of the after tarot but let's see what your love messages are pick a card for cancer what do you have for love messages from cancer's person one two more please angels and spirits for cancer two and the third one one more and three. All right. So whichever message you pick first, Cancer, is your strongest message meant to hear. Second, your second, your third, your third. But you are meant to hear all three, okay? One, two, three. You ready? Okay, let's pull the first one. Inseparable. Our love is always there despite the distance. There you go. So even though there's physical distance or emotional distance or both, that love is always there. You always feel it. You can feel it, okay? Because again, it's a divine connection. You're connected at a soul to soul level that nobody can, can touch or take away from you. It's there. It's always there. It's like nagging at you, even if you don't want it to. It's like, ah, right? Yeah, next message. Mend, I want to fix our connection. There you go. So for some of you, this is somebody that wants to fix your connection. You never quite got together because there may have been some physical distance. So even though you are physically apart, mentally, spiritually, you are connected. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay, that's what I'm seeing for most of you. Remember, if this isn't your story, it's not your story. Don't force it to fit. Gossip. I am afraid of what other people will think. So there you go. They, This person may have been waiting because they're concerned about gossip surrounding your connection. Okay, five of wands here twice. They were worried about the conflict. So they went silent. They were thinking about it. This is something they really wanted with you. But perhaps their worry, their stress over what everybody else thought um, took over the, the love that they felt for you. But the thing of it is, is this is a spiritual connection. You can't just forget about each other. No, soul to soul connection doesn't work that way. They're still here whether you like it or not. <laughs> It doesn't matter. They're still there. Um, as frustrating as that can be, it's like, get out, right? I know. I do. I know all about it. But spirit is saying it's not going anywhere. This, this, That feeling is always going to be there because you're spiritually connected. 
Um, and, and so what's happening here with the chariot is this person, the chariot and the six of swords is, is being guided to come towards you uh, slowly here with that nine of pentacles and to relocate if that's what it takes. So it's a slow pro progression here, but it is progression. Uh, if this person, you were in another connection here because we have here, you know, um, leaving an unhappy situation. If there was a conflict, if they're leaving a lot of conflict behind, or you are, um, then they're doing that slowly, maybe to avoid this gossip or this drama, okay? Uh, again, it can also be money finances here. Okay, I want to go ahead and get these other messages for you. We're also going to do pick a card here, Cancer. All kinds of fun. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. What's going on in Cancer's energy now or coming toward them in the near future? What do they need to know? What do we need to know? By the way, Cancer, I posted these bracelets, healing stone bracelets that I made, handmade. Um, they're on the community page, but I've also been slowly getting them up on the website, shacy.com. Let's see what's going on. Okay, one. Let's get two more. I will be making more. It's just a time thing. That's too many. Can I get one or two, please? One or two, please, for cancer. What are the messages? And one more. One more. One more for cancer. <laughs> okay. That is, they're flying out for you. So I think I'll pull these in part two as well because they seem to want to come out. These messages want to come out. See, there's two more. Okay. Cancer, there are two more messages coming out. So we're going to go ahead and get all four now. So one, two, three, four. Are you ready? Let's get into it. Okay. First message, healing heart. Wow, we have that twice, Cancer. We have that twice. They want to mend the heartbreak here between you and them, okay? So there may have been conflict between the two of you. Uh, for some of you, for others of you, they're, they're getting freedom from a toxic relationship or maybe an addiction that they had. Next message. Okay, stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. So for some of you, you know, maybe there was some kind of conflict between you and them and it caused the heartbreak. It caused the separation. You felt like they were being deceptive. They may have, you know, kind of like verbally attacked you back. We do have the King of Swords here. Or again, this is what's going on in their energy with the King of Swords, okay? Because there's people in their energy that don't agree with your connection. They're worried about the gossip or there has been gossip and that's what the problem is. <clears throat> Next message. Soulmates again. Soul connection. Partnership. Agreement. Soul contract. So they know that this is a soul contract. They know that this is meant to happen. They know that you are their destiny. And they want to heal this connection. If there was separation between the two of you, which I'm seeing here, it caused a lot of heartbreak. They want to fix that. And I feel like they're trying to figure out the best way to accomplish that without creating a lot of gossip surrounding your connection. They're trying to protect it is kind of what I'm getting. All right. Next message. Date. For some of you, yeah, you're meeting somebody brand new. You've already left this connection with the Six of Swords. And you may end up having a King of Swords and a King of Cups coming into you. An air sign and a water sign for some of you. Or strong air and water in their chart. Getting back out there, meeting someone new, planning and setting a date. Okay, so for some of you, you may have already moved on and you may meet somebody new and then this person comes in, you know, and they want to tell you the truth of the King of Swords, that there was conflict in their life. And you may have, you're, you may be the one now with the choice between two different people. Okay, so this could be flipped. This could end up flipping for some of you here. Wow. Okay, let's get new love. Go ahead and get new love. Just give me one second because I'm trying to clear the deck. What is going on for new love for cancer? Could be that king of king of cups here coming towards you. Maybe somebody shows you all the love while the other person just showed you nothing. They've been silent. That could be. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Sometimes another person's loss is another person's gain, right? And everything happens for a reason. And sometimes we don't find out till later what that is. Let's see what we can find out in new love for cancer. What 
Oh, you're going to have a decision to make. Ace of Swords, Judgment, and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So this is a, 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 it's a breakthrough here, okay? This is waking up to where does my solid start happen here? I want something, you want something solid and long term, okay? So you're going to have to make a final judgment call. Yeah. Some of you are going to be conflicted on this decision. Okay, see this person, again, wants to apologize to you for breaking your heart. You're going to have a decision to make. This person's going to tell you the truth and they want this connection with you. Again, this is somebody I feel that's brand new in your life, but you were, you were separated because of distance, timing, gossip, all those things. Okay, there was conflict going on. Yeah, see Seven of Swords again. OMG. Five of Wands three times, Seven of Swords twice. death so some of you are just going to end this connection but for some of you here this person wants to transform your connection they want to change it they want to say they're sorry they want to speak the truth they want to apologize they want a second chance and that's going to be up to you because again for some of you you have you have a king of cups coming in here and this king of swords is going to tell you the truth and it doesn't matter the king of anybody can take on the king of swords energy Anybody can take on any energy. This is somebody who's going to be blunt, forthright, speak the truth. They want a solid beginning with you. They want a second chance. They're sorry. They want to mend fences. They want to work together with you here. Yeah, see this person? They're going to tell you, for some of you, that they had to escape a commitment. Or it can be that they were in a family that was, you know, very traditional, have a lot of religious beliefs that they were fighting with over these beliefs to come to you. Difference in values. Why is a hero font here? Yeah, okay. So it's a bit of a bit of a risk they feel, but it's an opportunity they don't want to miss. It can be that their family told them this is too much of a risk. Like, what are you doing? You're moving halfway across the country or you know, a couple provinces or a couple of states over. Like, what are you thinking? But your person's going through a transformation, judgment and death energy. The amount of major arcanas here is really significant. So they feel like, you know, yeah, this is going to create conflict, but I'm going to speak my truth here because I want to mend cancer's broken heart. Our love is always there despite the distance. I can't stop thinking about cancer. Two of cups, ace of cups here, the soul to soul connection here. Like, I don't want cancer to date anybody else. I don't want them to meet somebody new. Maybe they found out you've met somebody new or you're dating online or you started getting back out there, whatever the case may be. They don't want you getting away from them. They want to they wanna fix this connection. OMG, the two of cups again. Absolutely. Yeah. So if there's like a difference in values or whatever, they don't care. They want to escape that. They want to get away from that. They want to end that. Uh, they know it's a bit of a chance, a bit of a risk, but they feel this deep connection to you that they're willing to take that leap of faith towards you. That's what I'm getting. doesn't matter how you slice it. It's there. The love is there. The connection is there. And uh, they, they feel like they can balance things out with you. And I feel like they've just been trying to avoid this conflict and this, and this gossip. That's why they're trying to do things on the down low. And I think that some of you maybe took it as, you know, they were being secretive because as a cancer, me as Scorpio, strong cancer, Pisces, we're highly intuitive. We can pick up when something feels off. We could smell a rat, right? <laughs> we smell a rat. Um, but it's, it's, this is what I'm getting is they've just been trying to figure out how to avoid gossip and conflict to protect your connection to protect you perhaps here yeah this has been weighing this person down for a while they've been thinking about this for a while with the ten of wands nine ten of wands they're ready to let it go uh, nine ten uh nine ten of wands the ace of wands here there could be somebody around them that's very jealous of your connection as well 
and they've been waiting to kind of move forward with you, but dealing with all this extra conflict. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. We're going to start digging in part two, Cancer. Um, I hope this resonates for you. Again, I want to check out this Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, okay? In part two, the next six months. And of course, the fun tarot of SEX. We're going to go check that out. I went way over, but that was because I really felt the need to dig into new love here. But guess what? This person is meant for you. And that's why they keep coming up in your energy because there's a soul contract here and they're not ready to let you go. Even if you've let them go, it's kind of what I'm seeing here. So let's go check it out. All right. Much love, much light for those of you that are brand new. Also down, down below in the description area, the little arrow pointing down, it will give you the part two options. If you want to join the Shacy spiritual warrior membership family, that's a less expensive option. You get unlimited part twos. Depends how many part twos you plan on watching, okay? Otherwise, upper right-hand corner, that's part two. That's individual. There's no obligation, no nothing, okay? All right. I will see you all on part two for those of you meeting me now. For those of you seeing me next time, it's going to be, I don't know, four or five days, give or take. i got to catch up on the other zodiac signs. Plus, make more of the healing stone bracelets. So it all takes time, right? <laughs> time and energy. Bye for now.